Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanted to share a quick tip to you guys. Um, and it's about how to hold angles. And I know there's a lot of videos out there explaining to you how to hold angles, you know, the most generic stuff. You know, when I watched them, yes, it did work for me. But then there were some parts of my play that kind of made me, well, kind of forced me to adjust of adjust how to hold angles. So I'm gonna I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna use Mirage as an example. Uh, I'm gonna be going through the common spots. Um, I'll also go into Inferno a little bit. Um, just, so mainly in Mirage and Inferno, because in face it, a lot of people love to play Mirage and Inferno. The point is, I'm gonna show you guys how I usually hold angles, like different angles. And um, yeah, let, let's get to it. So okay, when I'm when I'm a CT, I always hold A from CT CT spawn. So let's say you're holding A ramp. For me, the way I hold the hold oh, for me the way I hold this angle is like this. I, I tuck myself in a little more so that you know if they were to peek me from here, they wouldn't really see me yet. Maybe like this, yeah, just a little bit, yeah. And this is how I usually hold the angle. Say if they were coming from here, I usually hold my crosshair here. Now the reason why I do this, the reason why I hold, I usually hold my angles wider is because of my reaction time. I do not have the best reaction time. I, I, I am not skilled and I'm not, I am not a really, I'm not the best player. Okay? But this is the way I hold my angles due to my reaction times. Usually in the generic videos, they'll tell me like, you know, you should hold the angle like this like that you so that's why I usually tuck myself in a little more and then I hold it like this something like this I hold it like this because usually a lot of players a lot of T's like to just rush out onto Tetris so that's why I have a wider angle and that's why it works better for me so I don't have to adjust my crosshair too much and usually they just run into my crosshair and I get a free dink or a free kill if I, if I can land shots properly so this this is this is one way that has made that has forced me to adjust how I aim and how I take this angle. So because before I would hold it like this, and then most of the time I would be killed because they would they would wide swing so hard here, or just my reaction time wasn't fast enough, and I would just easily get dinked or just get killed because they're just faster than me. So that's why I tuck myself tuck myself in a little more, hold a wider angle. Like this, get some kills. Another common uh, place where T's come from is usually the palace, right? So obviously having an op would be the ideal thing. So yeah, so if I were here and have an op, tuck myself in, boom, right here. Or lower, because you, you have an op, right? You can one, one shot kill in the body. For me, the way I hold palace is like this. Now. The reason why I hold a tighter angle for Palace is because people who play Palace are more aware that, you know, they would have to peek a ramp, they have to peek sandwich, they have to peek uh, Tetris up there, peek stairs, peek on their connector, and then peek jungle and everywhere. So usually the ideal thing, the smart thing to do was, you know, to carefully check the corners. And that means like they don't tend to, to swat, uh, swat. <laughs> they don't tend to swing wide. So that's why in this situation, holding a tighter angle like this would be ideal. And you can use this little, um, what's this called? Little shelf as your as your cover. Holding it, it's fine to hold this tight angle. Even if you miss, you have the information that he's there. Um, you know, if you have nades, just, you just flash over. Swing wider, peek up there. See if he's there, he's probably dropped. Now the thing is, is that's a little bit, that's a little bit, you know, dangerous because, you know, what if there's someone there? But either way, the whole point of this, use advantages, you know, just find the better, find the, the spots and use them to your advantage. You know, rather than taking a fair fight against a T side, you need, it's better, always better to, to find those little advantages for yourself to win the fights. So this is usually how I, how I would hold Palace if I'm having an M4. Go a little bit more back so I have the head at, I can hit the head. 
or you know easier with the off boom each angle it each angle is very situational you know it, it, it's only going to take through experience if you understand the way you play and you know you've been through a lot of situations when you're holding angles and you know you just adjust it little bit by bit to understand how wide you should hold the angle how tight you can close the hold the angle and things like that so you know if, if i were jungle i usually wouldn't peek past because you can't really see anything you know unless you you know you get really really damn close to it even i can't see shit, and that's really bad for your eyes anyways so let's say you were to hold oh yeah let's say you were to hold jungle and then people are going to start crossing right usually there would be a smoke all you gotta do is just oh usually what i do if there's a smoke here you know you, you can kind of just guess the angle i'll just keep it like this you know get see if you can get like a cheeky kill but if there's not a smoke the way i would hold it like this much 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 wider because you know my reaction time really isn't the best um you don't i don't really see a lot of uh, players um, in the lower levels um, counter strafing here and peeking me to through jungle because they would assume I don't know because they, they have so many angles to check right and usually the the coordination in, in lower level games are not that great the communication is not that great so for me and I usually hold my angles much much wider and I don't crouch because then when you start you know you got you see you get up it's quite slow so just stand still hold your spray hopefully you can get some cheeky kills so yeah so on this angle for me i usually hold it much wider so all i have to do is just run into my crosshair and boom free headshots so through the many experiences that you will go through while playing the game it's important to to make sure that you understand how you play and you make you know and figure out you know what's your reaction time you can go to those websites that where you can check how fast your reaction time is and uh, you just little bit by bit you just readjust how you aim in certain angles because really every single angle there is in this every map there's so many angles to to think about I mean, I'm just giving you the the common the common spots on this map and how I usually hold angles due to my reaction time if you're if you have a really really good reaction time you you have you have the opportunity to to hold angles tighter because just because you have a faster reaction time and then you know you win you, you would win your fights more often that's why it's harder for me to 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 kind of get kills in that kind of situation if i'm up against uh, somebody who has insane reaction time but you know i, I play to my strengths and i work on my weaknesses of course but i play to my strengths when i'm in game and uh, you know if holding the wider angle helps me to get more kills i'm gonna hold it and if they have better reaction time good for them i usually like to hold b apps like this over here this is like one of the best spots to hold b because a lot of people are not gonna like check you here because there's so like i said there's so many angles to check boom boom even a spot there boom boom, boom. and then boom 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 so they're gonna they're gonna forget about you here so usually what i do when i hold this angle is i hold it of course again a lot wider because if i were to hold it like this and since my reaction time isn't that good they're gonna rush out right assuming they're not gonna jump out a window they're gonna rush out and then that would mean I would have to adjust my crosshair and try and flick, uh, try and flick towards the people who are who are coming out. Or of course the the idea would be if they if they haven't seen you yet, if they haven't checked you, you can let them pass, see how many are there, can communicate it to your team, and then I don't know, get your free kills. But if I were to hold it properly, I would hold it like this. I'm not kidding, guys. I would hold it like this. I would hold it really wide from the door. Because, like I said, I adjusted the way I hold angles due to my reaction time. You can little, you can adjust a little bit by bit, you know, maybe, you know, not too far, you can closer. Okay, we're in Inferno now. Okay, let's say this is smoked off. Smoke. 
which is a really ideal thing to do. Smoke off mid. I take, I usually play in this little cuppy here, and I take a slightly wider angle like this, not, not too wide like this, usually like that. Because when people come out, they maybe start running from there onto a short or close to the boiler. And then, so through my experience, people also, when they come into arch, they come this way. So, and then occasionally, they come this way. so usually when it's smoked off wider, a little bit wider from the wall here, and then boom. This is usually how I would play arch or cubby on, on Inferno. And then once, you know, I, hit, I come back inside here and I flash out and then boom, boom, something like that. Holding apps like this, of course, is a common spot, but uh, the thing about holding this spot is you have to be attentive. You have to be attentive to the sound. So if I don't hear any sound at all, I usually hold it tighter like this. I line my crosser up to the wall, the right side of my crosser to the wall, keep it like this. That is if I don't hear any footsteps. If I do, I hold it much wider because I wouldn't be fast enough or I would have to adjust my crosshair so much that I would probably over flick, miss the headshot opportunity and then he can get that split second opportunity to hit me in the head, right? So you have to be aware and you have to understand the situations that you're in to, to know whether you can hold a tighter angle or a wider angle. That's another thing that you need to take into account when you when you hold angles. So no footsteps, you can hold a tighter angle. A lot of footsteps, boom, wider angle. So you just run into your crosshair. I know there's a lot of videos out there talking about um, how to hold angles, but I I just wanted to give my opinion and my take on how I hold angles. You know, according to how I play and um, my reaction time and yeah. Mainly, the, mainly those things. Always keep in mind is to be aware of the situation. You kind of have to get really comfortable with your sensitivity. You know, if you're someone who just changes it a lot of the times, it's it's going to be it's going to take longer for you to get used to holding these angles the way you, the way you, you do. Pick the right crosshair, please. <laughs> Pick the right crosshair because then you come across people like this. Come, come. Take a. You know what I mean? Like, bro. <laughs> if the crosshair works for you, that's fine. But you know, if it, I, 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 I would. I don't know what else to say. You know, having. I think having a proper crosshair would re would really uh, um, help you out in getting in holding these angles and getting those uh, those headshots more. So. Basically, that's it. It's gonna have to be a lot of games that you play to understand um, how to hold the angles properly. Anyways, thanks guys. I hope it helped you out. I hope it helped you understand how to hold angles uh, differently that would suit your your play style and, and yourself, your reaction times. And um, yeah, I always forget to mention these in my other video. You know, I, have a tw <laughs> I have a Twitch channel up um, I usually stream from Monday to Thursdays, uh, 10 p.m. to uh, 1 a.m. That's Hong Kong time, so I'm gonna have to search that up. Please leave a like. Um, be sure to subscribe if it's your first time here. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!